Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. Weekly tarot reading December 9th to December 15th, 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. By the way, I have changed the spread uh, this week just to see how it's going to go. Mm. Because the elemental dignity is quite a complex one and I want to try something more chill. Alright, so the first card, as usual, is going to represent the topic of one's week and that is going to be the Five of Cups. Now the second card here stands for what is the energies that are supporting the, um, the topic. We do have the Two of Cups. The, three, the third card here stands for the challenges that one needs to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Moon card. Now, the fourth one represents the gifts and the blessings that one uh, can relate to or rely on throughout this week. That is going to be the Hangman. The fifth one, it is uh, representing of how the other sees you. And that is going to be uh, the Tower card. The sixth card here stands of what you can do or what will help you to further your goals here. That is going to be the strength card. The other one, the seventh card, it is what can uh, obstruct you of uh, further your, furthering your goals. That is going to be the king of swords. And the last one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Gemini. That is going to be uh, the page of cups. Lovely. Well, so the week is about love in all of its gazes, for what it seems. And more particularly, about reigniting an old love here. Or at least this is what it seems. Okay, so, um, first one which is the topic that is going to be the five of cups and we have to observe it here or interpret it in a correlation with the second one because these two are related we do have the energies that are supporting the topic and that is going to be the two of cups so those two cards really the biggest thing that they are speaking of it is a about reconciliation if you will or it is like undying um, undying love really i mean um, I cannot say I'm dying, but it is more like someone, you know, is pushes you away and still you both love each other or kind of like you break up with someone or it's you separate with someone and still it's kind of like the love is in the air, all right? So a simple separation, argument, conflicts here cannot break what you do have for each other, you know? It, it may not be as well love, it could be sympathy, friendship, um, the two of cups in generally while the strongest energy that has is upon love it could be also a about sympathy or anything that it is related with the um, cooperation 
in between two people, unity in between two people, if you will. So uh, with the topic here, it does uh, basically what those two cards are pointing it is that uh, the disappointment and the loss, the separation is just temporary and not permanent one. That, that is the topic of your week, guys. Here with those two cards, the uh, the severing of the cooperation, unity, relationship, partnership, whatever, is just temporary, and there will be a reconciliation somewhere in the future. Maybe not. The, it is possible to be this week, but maybe may not be this week. But these two cards are pointing that definitely there is going to be a reconciliation in um, in the future. So the other card here points to the challenges and that is going to be the moon card. Uh, those are the challenges of insecurity. Now the moon card uh, points that you may be very deprived from uh, clamor and spirits in the sense, I don't know how to say it, it's where you lack the clamorous belief that the things can get better, right? And that, that is the challenge that you should not fall into despair here, but instead on um, keep on walking the path that you have chosen, meaning, you know, keep on trying to get the same job, keep on um, trying to reconnect with the same person, keep on trying to sustain your, to sustain your marriage, whatever you are finding that it is substantial for you, you have to keep on trying sustaining it or getting it or, or, or achieving it or whatever the goal for you is, whatever those first two cards are representing whatever union those first two cards are representing for you guys it is because the moon card is pointing that right now really the times are very vague and very insecure in the sense of that there are circumstances cooking around not the whole situations have developed to such an extent that the future can be predicted but definitely this thing or this person is someone that you have a future with what kind of a future nobody knows even the readers doesn't know it is because the path the future is hidden beyond the summit here in the card i mean you can see it all right it's, it's hidden beyond the summit i no one can see it but it is definitely a point you have to go to and experience so uh the fourth card here for you gemini points to the gifts and blessings that you can uh, indulge with uh, throughout this week we do have the hangman and this card tells us only one thing about gifts and blessings you do have the gift of time meaning you do have time okay um, things are not beyond any repair things are not beyond any uh, how can I say it um, yeah it, it basically nothing has been lost at least not yet and also the gift and blessings here it's the gift of um, self-awareness that uh, if you want the things to change the change needs to start from within you alone have to start doing things differently or taking on in a different standpoint as well so we are talking about the blessing of taking and adopting a different perspective which is going to come natural to you it's not like you have to struggle in order to take it even if that means that you are going to realize that you have been wrong with some statements of yours for example or with some moves you did uh, but you're going to be okay with it all right you are going to be in tune with it because it's it's how you're going to scope it and uh, this new perspective will allow you to resolve a lot of uh, a lot of issues as well or they, they're not they're not going to be resolved a lot of issues that you do have with this person right here that the first two cards pointed but uh, those issues are going to become irrelevant because there is no point on arguing over them it's it really speaks about disagreements here or the the reading shows kind of a disagreements that you may have with this person and now it's all about uh, clearing those disagreements or rather like abandoning those uh, those disagreements by you changing if you will by you adopting a different perspective on things and that leads us to the next one of how other sees you pretty well fitting with uh, the narrative here <clears throat> that is going to be uh, the tower card and people were seeing you willing to to change 
uh, willing, I mean, uh, to change in a way that uh, it's very difficult to be said. Um, not difficult, but how can I say it? It's not appropriate to say change. More appropriate is to say transforming. Now, change is, is something that happens naturally in the sense of that the time makes you change. Well, transformation is something you do on your own, okay? And this is how people see you. If you will, that could be translated into people who are going to see you determined to rebuild back uh, relationships, connections, yourself, if you will, your life, so it can become more, it, it can become more suitable for the union or the cooperation that is going to bounce back in your life going further into the future. But uh, with the Tower card, um, we safely can say that people will see you, uh, are going to see you as a determined to rebuild your life. To bring it down and rebuild it in a new forms and shapes this time around much more prosperable than the previous forms and shape that could count as the entire life it is like rebuilding your life once again so the other card here represents of what is going to help you to chase your goal and that is going to be the strength card and this is the perseverance through patience and uh, as well the how can i say it the uh the strength through self-belief where you don't ha you don't feel bad about wanting things where you don't feel guilty about striving for uh, a certain goals and certain enterprises where you don't feel obliged to explain yourself constantly why you want a certain things but you allow your actions instead to speak louder than words and to be so convincing that no one can object in regards to uh in regards to your to your actions but for that my friends you need passion i mean your goal or that union you know cooperation friendship whatever it needs to be something that you feel passionate about okay because if it is something that you are doing simply for benefits and there is no passion in it then it means that that's not your thing and something different is going to pop up as a, a union and cooperation that is going to ignite uh, your passion now the next one uh, represents what you should not do or what can uh, what can hurt your goals that is going to be the knights of uh, the king of swords excuse me so king of swords very authoritarian kind of in an individual and that is your side okay that is the uh, uh, the other side of the coin of your personality here so you should not be tyrannical that is uh, one thing though that is one way how we can interpret this card you should not be um, unyielding in a sense of that to want things to happen necessarily your way but you always need to be open for a conversation and a compromise if you will and the last thing it is that uh, do not overthink things okay sometimes the solution is the simple thing uh, is the simplest thing that comes into one's mind and in your case that is uh, that uh, and in your case that's the case all right it's just you don't have to or you should not how can i say it uh be surreptitious for everything that it is going on around or skeptical for everything that it is going on around okay and the last one uh it refers to the guidance that tarot is offering so we do have the page of cups and the page of cups uh guide uh, or advises you a few things the first one is to listen to your emotions and to go for what connects you with your emotions okay that could be person that could be a specific specific endeavor, for example. And that is very tough to be done, okay? It's because I'll, I'll straight away give you an example here, okay? You can be in a very good marriage, but your emotions doesn't lie any longer with your wife or with your husband, but lies with someone else. Well, that card here guides you or advises you to connect with your emotions. So you get what I am going, right? It doesn't necessarily points 
to a how can I say it a future with lack of uh, with lack of problems and difficulties. The other thing that the card points is that you should stop being so stubborn and attentive to the minor and aggravating, irritating and really annoying details, but instead turn your glance toward the overview. Make above, above everything else here, especially correlation with the first cards in this spread, you have to look into the problem within yourself uh, because while the problem does not reside entirely in you you do have your part in it as well and in order the problem to be resolved you have to the problem in between you and this person i mean you have to make a crucial uh personal analysis personal assessment if you will and one's critical one okay that it should be the one it should be such kind of an assessment where you uh kind of identify the bad um, the bad sides of your characters if you will or what you are doing wrong and based on that you need to uh, reposition yourself okay uh, in a sense of uh, that you don't do those things any longer so that being said uh, Gemini this was your weekly tarot reading December 9th to December 15 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then.